What's up guys, it's Steve and I'm back with another video. Today's video is going to be about an artist that I've been working with this past month and how we were able to take her business from four clients to 14 booked appointments in only three weeks using Facebook ads, a strong content strategy, and just, just grind, you know, hard work, putting in the work. So if you're a new artist, just coming out of training, don't know where to start, this is definitely a video you wanna be watching. Social media is super important to getting your business off the ground. Or if you're an established artist and you're struggling, maybe the referrals are slowing down, word of mouth is slowing down, you should also be watching this video. So let's jump right into it. All right guys, so we're on her Facebook page right now. And before we started working together, she didn't have a Facebook page. So I built it out for her, I filled out all the information and she she brought me those professional looking photos that you see right here her profile picture and her cover photo now when it comes to your pictures up here you should be in one or the other you know you could have your logo as a profile picture but definitely be in the cover photo you know people want to see what the artist looks like and want to see who they're meeting so definitely have yourself in one of those pictures you're already going to build trust right off the bat by having that and to build more trust reviews so since it's a new page, we didn't have any reviews. So I asked her to go to her past clients that she had and ask them to leave a review for, you know, on her Facebook page. And guess what? They were more than happy to leave a review. You know, if you don't ask for a review, chances are you're probably not gonna get one unless the experience for the client was off the charts. But don't be afraid to ask for the reviews. You know, some people think it's a little too pushy or salesy, but you're, you're a business, you know, a business owner. You have to be salesy. You, you gotta, you gotta get those reviews. It's gonna build trust. So when you start running ads and start driving traffic to your social media, people see that and they feel more comfortable giving you their business. And right here we have her, her pictures. This is another really important thing that I see that a lot of artists don't do at all. They'll post a before and after picture and then they'll say, this is microblading. Uh, you know, I, it was a great, you know, it was a great appointment. Love how the eyebrows turned out. And then they'll spam a bunch of hashtags underneath. So first, hashtags don't really do anything on Facebook. And they make your picture look really sloppy in my opinion. Uh, I like to keep profiles clean, organized, and if you see hashtags spammed all over the place, uh, you, you know, it's, it's, it's very like off-putting, I guess you could say but don't use hashtags on Facebook. And the caption should be a story about you and your experience with the client. You know, right here, like on this one right here, she used the client's first name. She said what the client, you know, why the client came in, what their problem was, what she did for the client. And it's it's very simple, but it goes a long way. You know, it's it drives more engagement. And again, it makes you seem more personable and build trust and people like that people like to see that you actually care about the client instead of just saying oh here it is and then spamming your hashtags but um also another thing that is really important when it comes to your social media and i say it a lot i might say it a little bit too much but i'm gonna say it again just because of how important it is and it's video you know she uh, right here she wasn't really putting out any videos she had her you know her before and after pictures and I asked her you should be putting out video you know get some video of your clients of you doing work all that stuff and what did she do immediately she goes out she starts getting videos she's, she starts taking action that's all it is just start taking action it, these are very very simple things that cost no money that automatically differentiate yourself from your competitors every single permanent makeup artist if you go to their facebook or instagram it's only pictures it's only before and after pictures the ones that are doing well are the ones that are putting out videos they're putting out videos of them doing work they're putting out video testimonials they're putting out videos of themselves speaking and and just giving out information about permanent makeup and i know it's very difficult for some people to get in front of a camera but you know, all I can say is try, practice. You know, I'm in front of the camera right now and I wasn't super comfortable and I'm still not 100% comfortable, but I'm doing it because I know how important video is for Facebook. So definitely start getting video, you know, in your social media, in your Instagram, on your Facebook, on everything. But um, 
that's it right there like those are the smaller things that you could do for your your social you know your facebook page and your instagram too but right now we're gonna jump into her actual ads and you know her ad spend so you could see the crazy return that we got this past month just by just putting a good strategy together so let's go take a look at that so we're back in her ads manager and as you can see we spent 69 dollars and 29 cents on ads to book 14 appointments now what's even crazier is that when we first started the ad almost 45 minutes after we we received the booking and we only spent eight cents which is probably the cheapest appointment that i ever booked <laughs> which is uh, it was amazing it was amazing feeling you know it was it was great it was great it was really you know a good way to, to set the tone for the rest of the campaign but the reason why the ads were so successful is because we understood that we need to build out her portfolio build out her brand and just get as much practice as we could under her belt because she was a new artist so you know a lot of artists get into the industry because they're told it's an easy way to make money you know it's a you could quit your day job and, and start a business in no time but what these training classes don't tell you is that once you're certified you got to learn how to run a business you got to learn how to sell you got to learn how to market yourself and there are so many artists out there that are just lost they don't know what to do and most of the reason why is because they're not willing to lower their prices they come out of training and they immediately start asking for 400 500 dollars for their services when they have no portfolio whatsoever so if you're a new artist or you're just going through a very very slow period you got to be prepared to give a discount for your services you know to a point where you're still making a profit but not you know not full price you're not going to get full price if you're brand new there's just it's just no way you know maybe you'll get a few clients here and there but it's not going to be sustainable at all so right here you know we we still made a huge profit so far off of this off of this campaign we still have a week left but this is proof you know we, we gradually increased our prices throughout the campaign so once we saw you know tons of people booking at our initial price you know we said hey we should raise the price a little bit i think you know i think you can get away with this you know and we set a new price and started some new ads so you know we're, we're going to gradually increase the pricing of her services until ultimately she has enough content and enough you know branding that we can tr we can charge we can charge it you know she does good work and we've earned the right to charge more and now we're looking to compete with the biggest you know the biggest competitors in her market you know and it's because she understood this is a long-term game everyone long term this is not hey i'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna get certified and right away i'm gonna start making thousands of dollars it doesn't work like that you know the market decides your price the market decides everything facebook ads if facebook ads isn't a switch that you turn on one day and the clients start rolling in you have to have a strategy you know to back it up and if you're not willing to 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 take what the market is giving you then you're going to be out of business real really 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 quick <laughs> so um right now we're going to go into her uh messages so we're back in her messenger right now and on the left side right here you could see the messages that came in from the ad and on the right side you could see just a lot of back and forth coming in between both my client and her client and this right here is just just a very very good example of how important it is to to have conversations with these leads if you just answer their question and then send them a link to your website to book you just lost the lead right there and and, and that's something a lot of artists don't do and then they wonder, you know, then they say that the ads don't work and that the leads were awful quality. You know, if you're not speaking to these leads and actually taking the time to understand their problems, you're not going to close them. So something that my client did really well was that she took, you know, notice of the way I was speaking to, to, to her leads and how I was selling them. And she just started doing it herself. Uh, I usually am the one that answers the messages, but she's been taking over the messenger lately and she's been killing it. You know, she's been making my job a lot easier while also getting some very, very, very good experience on her own. So again, learn how to sell. It's, it's really tough. And when I do work with people, I coach them on it. I say, hey, this is how you got to set up your leads. This is how you have conversations. These are some good questions to ask them. 
don't send them a link to your website or don't give them one word answers. You know, it's very, it's very, very simple. Take action, take the time, care about your clients and make money in the process. So guys, that is it for the video. As you can see, having a strong social media strategy is crucial to getting your business up off the ground and set up for long-term success. It's also a team effort. You need to be taking action on these little things that only cost you your time. There are thousands and thousands of new artists getting into this industry right now. And if you don't do it, someone else is gonna get into your market and do it themselves. But um, again, if you guys learned anything in this video, give it a like, give it a comment. And if you're feeling crazy, just a little bit, give it a share or tag someone that should see it. But anyways, Britt, thank you so much for letting me do a case study on your campaign. You've been killing it. It's been awesome working with you so far. And again, if you wanna, you know, if you have any questions or want me to run your ads for you, send me a message. Be more than happy to talk to you. But have an awesome day, guys. I'll see you later. And look out for the next video. See ya.